What's up everyone? So great to see all of your beautiful faces. I just turned 41 a couple of days ago and I need to start setting some healthier goals. So today at work, it's uh, the typical crap ton of work orders, mostly washers, dryers, but my goal every day from here on out is 10,000 steps minimum and 64 ounces of water by the time I get off work. So two of these and 10,000 steps minimum. I'm already at 2,800, so should be able to meet both these goals. Let's get some more quarters done. integrity of the tub seems to be holding. I could not recreate the problem of the washing machine leaking. Usually clothes or blankets, comforters, get stuck on that water supply or they're pushed up too close to that water supply and direct the water over the tub while filling. So I just explained that to the tenant and let them know to let us know if it happens again. Trying to get it all out with one scoop. It's still... Dishwasher not draining, I'm going to preemptively grab my vacuum just to speed things up a little bit. Ugh, really need more space. Let's get this rack out of the way. Pump's trying to run. Doesn't look that bad. I think we're gonna have an issue with the pump itself. Tug this back up. This is loose. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be glass stuck in there.
drains. This isn't loose, it's broke. I know it's hard to see, but there's a weld on this side that snapped. This one's loose too, probably the same thing. This one's tightening up, sweet. This is an imbalance load. You can't shove stuff in there like that. I'm gonna take this out and test it. Now. These are not gonna dry. These are soaked. Like you can't, this is not a commercial dryer. Let's check this. Oh, come on guys. Like who did this make ready? This is a new move in. I mean, it takes two seconds to, uh, whatever. Let's check the spin on this, make sure it's kicking in the gear. Looks like all the water drained out. Don't try this at home. Definitely spinning in high gear. Yeah, that's fine. Let's see if the dryer... Uh... Let's see if this booster fan kicks on. So that's the dryer problem. Yes. I just put one of the blankets in there. Oh yeah, this thing's working fine. They just put too much stuff in there. Too many heavy blankets. It's only 11 o'clock and I already went through 32 ounces of water. So on track to meet my daily goal, daily work goal. I left a note that if they want the electrical outlets fixed that they need to they need to mark them or at least tell me which one ones need fixed. There's like 20 in that unit. I'm not going through all of them. That's ridiculous. There's like 50 work orders right now. Shorthanded again. Don't have time to be doing that kind of stuff. Let's go to the next one.
I'm just gonna replace these bolts for the tank. Maybe just the one. I'm gonna try one of these plastic toilet seats that we have. Maybe that'll uh, stay up a little bit better than the wooden ones as that toilet tank is not designed for that toilet bowl. Also at 5,300 steps. And if I don't have the cart on me and I'm taking the stairs everywhere, this one is only up on the sixth floor. I'm gonna make a separate work order for the toilet handles. That's just falling, that's not right. We don't have those toilet handles in stock. So I'll find the part number and give it to the supervisor to order it and make a separate work order for that. Don't give me that look guys. That's just a temporary fix until the door boot comes in. I'm not gonna leave it like that and close the work order out. I bet this chain is getting stuck. Maybe. No, there's the problem. 
See that? That hose is sitting too low and it can siphon up to cause the toilet to keep running. There's no need for this. Just gotta cut it to length. Don't shove it down there. Cut this chain. No need for that chain to be that long. Definitely loose. I think if we tighten this, it'll pull it out. Loosen this. Too much is coming out. No, oh, I think I can make this work. That should hold it to the wall once it dries in a few hours. Fill in that hole real good. I know, this is too much. You know, there's, there's the finished result. Patio door handle loose. No, it's not. Patio door handle's fine. Getting closed out. This is about halfway done. getting there not quite there with the steps yet Okay, no air codes. That's a good sign. Hot water line is hot. Let's see what's going on. Let's run some hot water. One nineteen and rising. The max temp on these is supposedly one twenty. Is dropping feels cold right here this is for the aquatherm I'm gonna shut down on this now this shoots up see that so what's happening here's our cold water coming in okay right there is one check valve there's another check valve. This is the hot water return for the aquatherm. So this check valve right here is stuck open. So water is coming back through the hot line causing no hot water or lack of hot water. So I'm going to shut the water off. Yes, I do keep these shark bite check valves in my bag just for this. No wasted time going to the shop. I'm also going to shut down this valve so we don't lose too much water. You now the water's flowing this way, the hot water. So I'm going to install the check valve going this way.
no, I got the problem. I found the problem. Oh, good, okay. Like, it'll be warm for two minutes, and then it'll just go warm. It runs out, right? Yeah. Yeah. Valves open, no more hot water coming back because the check valve is gonna stop the cold water from returning from the inlet. And we've got almost there, almost there. All right, let's see where we're at for the steps. All right, goals are met. Um, very productive day. I think it's much easier. I don't know, makes the work day go by better when I make little goals like that, that are not, you know, directly related to work, such as I'm gonna do 20 work orders today or 15 work orders today or whatever. I think this helped a lot, so. Anyways, thanks for tagging along. Until the next vlog, I'm Dave. Hope to see you there.